Well, welcome back to the channel. So I finally had the boat out of the water. Um, I didn't film it coming out. It was, uh, again, too stressful. So uh, I just got the boat out and we towed it into my storage centre that I have. Um, and it is filthy. I now know the reason why the, uh, the depth gauge wasn't working. This is what it looked like when I first got it. And this is what it looks like now. Absolutely caked in seaweed. seaweed all across the back it is absolutely filthy so I'm gonna give this a jet wash off today and also the top section so I'm not gonna winterize the motor today I may do it depends if I've got the equipment inside the boat because I can't find what I bought which is really annoying top is absolutely filthy so I'm gonna get up here and give it a good clean and one of the problems when I was actually getting the boat out of the water was um, there isn't a roller on the trailer here. It's basically like a wooden plank with some carpet around it, so you slide it on. And there are roller wheels underneath there, there, and at the front. So getting it lined up was quite difficult. Um, we managed it, but then got the winch attached to tie it for the last bit. And whilst winching it from here, I was winching it up and the winch snapped so this section here at the bottom that weld was completely broken so i need a new winch arm or get this re-welded which i may be able to do at work it's whether i can get it in there to get it done i'm gonna get the top off first give that a clean hopefully i can hang it over the uh, fence here and give it a jet wash down and then start on the body. Look at the state of that tonneau cover. My boat's obviously very popular with seagulls. Right, well, it's not going great at the moment. My pressure washer is not working to its full extent. Um, so there's something wrong with that. I also can't find the uh, muffs that I use for flushing the engine. So that was the job I was going to do today, which I can't do as well. So I'll scrub this down as best I can. It is a lot better, but it's going to need some physical manual brush on it to get it off properly. So next job is going to be to tackle this seaweed and try and get it off. I've got some gloves. The problem is the jet wash is now not powerful enough to blast off real stubborn ground in dirt. So this may be a two day job. This is going to be impossible by hand. I'll just try and get the jet wash on it. See if that'll do it. Get the main bits off first. Give that a go. Well, that is probably about the best I'm going to get this done. My jet wash isn't working 100%, so it's not taking off as much as it should do, but it is taking off the anti foul. So you can see the blue paint underneath here. So the anti foul will need to be redone. The depth finder has got barnacles all over it. But it's looking a lot better than it did. This does slide up and down, but you can only slide it so far. So I can't really take it out of the water when it's moored up. So I have to find another way to do that. You can angle it, but that's not going to make any difference to it. It'll still be underwater and it'll still get barnacles 
and seaweed all over it. Now because the jet wash isn't working 100% it's not taking off all the barnacles along here. So change of plan today. I'm going to clean off the deck. The top here, get this as clean as I possibly can and as much of the sides as I can do. And then I'll probably have to buy myself a new more powerful jet wash because I can't do that by hand. You just can't get underneath it. It needs to be up on a stack to be honest with you but I'll do what I can. Now I've got to be careful to try and keep away from the, uh, the window here because it's not the tightest of seals. So correct me if I'm wrong here, but the anti-foul paint I thought was to stop barnacles sticking to the underside. Tell me if that's not right. So basically the jet wash is not powerful enough to get some of the green seaweed off, but it is taking off the first layer of anti-foul paint. So that's annoying, because that means I've got to wash it all again. I've just given it a few blasts underneath here and you can see the blue coming through. It's just peeling off massively. Look at that section. It's never easy, is it? Right, I'm gonna try it the good old fashioned way with some uh, bit of elbow grease and some boat cleaner. Try and get that green off the sides. So that cleaner is working, but it's going to take me hours. And um, it's made a bit of difference. You see, that's where I haven't cleaned. That's where I have cleaned. There's still green bits on there. I need something a bit more uh, aggressive to get it off, or a more powerful jet wash. So I think I might have to go and buy myself a new jet wash because this isn't working. I've had it for many years, this Karsha, um, but it's just not. It doesn't feel anywhere near as strong as it used to. But I'll show you the difference between this side and the other side. So this is the side I've just cleaned. And here is the other side. So there's a marked difference. There's a few lines there where I was just testing out the jet wash. Um, but there's a lot of work to be done on it. And I'm not sure I'm gonna get it all done today, which is a shame, because it means I've gotta get the boat brought out to the wash station again, buy another jet wash. Um, and some more cleaning equipment and also I'm going to need to redo the anti foul so I can't do it on this trailer it's too low so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that it's whether I get someone with a dry stack to let me take it there for a rent one for a week uh, and get it up onto legs so you can get underneath and get it painted or what I'm not sure it's not as easy as I thought this boat in luck is it right I'm gonna get this side done now because I'm limited on time so I can only be here for another 45 minutes um, because they have allocated time for the wash base because other people want to use it. So I'm going to get this side done and I'll bring it back afterwards. So I think what I'm going to do with this, this adjusts up and down, but it doesn't come up. There's barnacles all over it. Even if it came all the way up to there where it stops, um, there's seaweed above that. So it's still going to get jammed up. So I think long term wise, I'll take this off and put one up here so that then I can slide it fully up to this point here and uh, it may then make it able to come out completely so it's out of the water so it doesn't get anything on it at all and then I won't have these problems in the future. It is by no means perfect but it is a lot better than it was. I can't get all the way underneath it and I can't get the green off these sides so I need to get something to scrub it. Uh, and maybe soak onto it a spray, something a bit more 
powerful than just water. I thought my jet wash would do it. It's done a better job on this side. But there's still some up here. You just can't get rid of. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I'm going to make a two-part video or come back and complete the job uh, and then do a full video based on that. I'll see how long this one is. Um, I have got my day cover on this, so I'm going to try it on. Uh, it needs some additional bolts, so I'm just going to test it out, see what I need to buy for it, um, and then get that done on the next uh, next visit as well. So, comment below. Tell me what you think I'm doing wrong with this jet washing underneath it, with the paint coming off. I think I need to put it onto a hard stack and sand it, maybe sandblast it, get all the paint off, and then uh, repaint it with anti-foul, which is annoying. I think the reason why the guy never had the issue with the anti-foul paint, he said he painted it all and it was fine, and obviously there was nothing underneath it. The problem is, well not the problem, is the benefit that he had was he trailered it every time, so it went in the water and he trailed it back out again. Now, that means it doesn't get time to get gunked up in the sea with algae and seaweed, so he probably never has to jet wash it or never had to. Um, which saves him a lot of hassle, but now I've done it, it's taken off two to three layers of paint and anti -foul. So it's down to the, uh, the GRP hollow points. So tell me if you think I'm doing wrong doing this. Um, but it needs redoing, um, and I've got to get it up on, a, on a, uh, a dry stack at some point to try and anti -foul it. That might be a job for next year, we shall see. So I'm going to see if I can get my day cover on there now. It's never been used, apparently the guy says he hasn't used it, it's not in the best condition, but it was obviously used as a previous owner, um, but he never put it on, so there's some bolts and bits and pieces missing from it. So I'm going to pop it up here, see what I need to get um, to get it fixed, so that I can use it as a day cover. Um, and um, as I said, this may be a two-part video. If it is, I'll see you in a minute. If not, hope you enjoyed it. Hit a thumbs up if you did, comment below anything you think I'm doing right or wrong, or any suggestions or ideas that might help me. Um, and if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.